G'day my friends, this is Marty Ware from Marty's Garden on YouTube and Marty's Garden Community .com, where I am right now showing you a recent slideshow that I uploaded a couple of days ago about my backyard vegetable garden patch. Now I do live in an apartment and I have a balcony garden but I started this community garden a couple of years back and I've been in and out of there to with work and different things but this year I've really put some time and effort into it and you know it's pretty much myself down there at the moment there's some people coming and going they get jobs or they move to other places so I do most of the planting and occasionally people come in from time to time but what you are looking at here is a bale garden yes the bales are around the outside of the perimeter of the garden and they're planted with a whole lot of different legumes and microgreens and strawberries and what i've done is i've put a nice quality organic potting mix on the top and then i've put a mushroom compost as the next layer and just threw the seeds in there and kept them wet and they just germinated by themselves and i go through and pick my my little greens and things that i want to make for my salads as I need them and I get a wide variety of colours and I've noticed that I've got some cilantro coming up as well, coriander, which I'm really looking forward to picking. My daughter had some last night and she just loved it. Now in the centre of the garden, you can't really see it in this photo but you will see it in another photo coming up, is an underground worm farm. Now the underground worm farm is placed below with a barrel with holes in it. It's filled full of compost and cow manure and they just consume through that. They move through the holes in the worm farm out into the garden and come back to feed again. And I'm finding that it's working just great. And you can see from the health of the garden that it actually is working very well. In the middle also, you can see a whole lot of cherry tomatoes. There's some vines climbing up the vertical wall, which uh, there's a few strains of cucumbers growing in there. And then I've put some uh, stakes running at parallel. So the tomatoes climb across them and up the wall vertical and the suckers will sh shoot up straight. And then I put poles into them to hold them up as well. To, and they're all, all basically cherry tomatoes, so they won't get too heavy, but the vertical poles are yet to go in. So I can use up more space in the garden and get a lot more cherry tomatoes and keep them really warm because it's winter here on the uh, Gold Coast where I am, or autumn actually. And that wall radiates heat back at the night time, so that will keep them warm through the winter months as well and uh, keep them really, really productive. Okay, I'm going to go on to the rest of the slides now. And you can see in the next slide, there's the microgreens there. And you can see the coriander, which you guys, a lot of people like to call cilantro, growing there as well. And it's all performing quite healthy. We've got a wild tomato that just popped up up the side there. And uh, yeah, he's come up just he's self sown on his own. Not sure what type of tomato it is, but he's looking pretty happy. And uh, yeah, I give him a bit of fertilizer from time to time because he's sprouted up underneath the bale there. He's got like his own mulch <laughs> underneath, so um, it wouldn't dry out very much very quickly under there. And he seems pretty happy, so I'll stake him up later. Okay, the next photo, yes, we got some peas and different things growing out of the bales as well. The next one, we've got some a little capsicum growing. I'm not real sure what you call it in your side of the world. And we've got, this is the red spinach, which I'm really excited about growing with a marigold. And I ate some last night in my salad and the flavor was nothing short of amazing. It was really so tender, just like lettuce, and it brought out some great colors through the salad. I had some different herbs, some microgreens, and some lettuce leaves and things mixed in, and uh, yeah, Karen gobbled them up as well, which was really great. Uh, going into the next photo now, you can see we've got some fungus growing. Now that means that the actual uh, bales are starting to break down, and the peas and things uh, they need to be cut back so they can actually shoot off those nitrogen nodes back into the bales and so when new plants come down they can actually connect to that nitrogen as it breaks down and the worms will go in there and for the earthworms 
and the composting worms will eventually get in there and eat those dead roots as well and turn them into plant food, which is the whole idea about it. Now we're gonna have a look at the worm farm here, the underground worm farm. It's a barrel that I bought from uh, Bunnings, a five gallon barrel with a screw top lid. I just drilled some holes in the sides and sanded them back so they're not too rough and some holes in the bottom so it flows through. And I've noticed that some roots actually are growing from the tomatoes into the holes and uh, getting hold of some of that nutrient there. Now you can dig your hands in also as the worms are breaking it down and just spread that worm casting around from the worm farm or get a bucket, get a handful and put it into the bucket and stir it up and water that into the garden as well and you've just made yourself a super duper liquid feed that will not burn anything and can be used on seedlings. Look, it's, it's God's, God's way of producing uh, fertilizer. It's probably one of the best fertilizers on earth that I, well, that's my opinion. And let's have a look at the next photo now. Okay, we've got the heirloom cherry tomatoes going. You can see the nice stripes on them, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing. I'm not seeing them soon. Change colour. I'm not sure of the exact uh, variety on those, but uh, I'll let you know once they come through because I've got about six or seven different varieties. Some strawberries growing out of the bales. They got planted about a week ago, and they're doing fine. Just keeping them moist and uh, happy, and the runners are also starting to spread, and they're joining into the bales as well and getting into that compost and starting to throw roots which is fantastic to see. Okay the next photo we've got the underground, this is not underground worm farms, this is tyre worm farms. Very simple, just throw your mushroom compost in, bit of cow manure on top, a little bit of sprinkled broken up veggies and throw your worms in, put a couple of layers of thick cardboard underneath and keep them in the shade, nice and cool and they'll, they'll do their thing, they'll turn all that into nice worm castings, eat all that compost and stuff that you would normally throw in the bin, just chop it up nice and small so they can eat it quickly and really enjoy themselves. I'll give you another shot of the underground worm farm. Uh, here it is there, you can see it's got a screw top lid, the handles, so I can pull the whole thing out and move it. I've planted some marigolds next to it to keep away any nematode worms which are a little earworm that will go through and they like to eat roots and things and spread disease and stuff. And these guys will actually subscrete a type of nutrient into the ground which uh, will repel the earworms. Probably the best one is the African uh, marigold and that performs best overall. Okay, the next photo, we've got some cucumber scrambling along and that'll actually uh, grow up onto the bale and be off the ground away from pest, disease, slug, slugs, etc. And um, yeah, I'll crawl that along the bales so they can be nice and happy up high. All right, next photo here is the apartment garden with the strawberries. And um, listen, if you want to know more about apartment gardening, uh, please, or you know, outdoor gardening, any type of gardening, basically follow me here my name's Marty Ware from Marty's Garden on YouTube and I've got the community garden over there. I'm going to leave links below for everything. I hope you've got some good tips and some ideas out of that. Uh, what you want to do is I just want to go back and um, show you the original uh, photo and just talk about this a little, a little bit more before I uh, head off because I've left a couple of things out here. Now the concept of this bale garden when the worms here is for eventually for these to break down and over time keep planting in them so you're using the vertical walls, the worms are coming out into all this system and in and out through spreading their castings around so you don't have to fertilize as much and you're, they're, they're doing everything, they're cleaning up the soil, they're aerating the soil, they're creating all that beautiful beautiful nutrient for you you're building up a full microbial system that is just super super healthy and not a lot of work because it's not a lot of weeds so you do need to have the worm farm in the middle and once it starts breaking down and they're breeding and coming out they'll start spreading out through the worm from the worm farm into this whole garden and my concept is to actually have a series of these placed around the garden I've got the two other uh, tire worm farms over in the other corner there and start turning this into a whole microbial ecosystem that is just super healthy 
and super productive. So if you want to learn more about this type of gardening, please follow me here at Marty's Garden on YouTube by subscribing and also come over to martysgardencommunity.ning.com and join in over there on the community and you'll attach yourself straight away to getting the newsletter available to you and much, much more because there's great content going through that's gonna teach you how to grow great healthy food at home in small space gardens. All right, again, as I tell you, I'm Marty Ware from Australia on the Gold Coast. Have a great day, happy gardening, and we'll see you at the next video soon. Bye for now.